<laughs> All right, Evie, hold still just a little bit more. No, Evie, come back. <laughs> oh my goodness, you really hate being bathed, don't you? Just a little more behind the ears, down the back and on the tail. A little bit of soapy water and some water poured on you and you're gonna be a fresh, clean puppy in no time. We just need to get you all cleaned up. And here comes Maggie. Maggie, did you get a good bath? Did Tiffany help you get a good bath? Oh my gosh, you're so excited. You're so hyper all the time. Oh my goodness, Maggie. And Blake, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh. All right, Tiffany, I think we're almost done. There's just so many. I see Charlie hiding behind that tree over there. We're going to both have to tackle him if we're going to bathe him in time. All right, you guys are going to be so fresh and smelling so nice so that you'll be ready for your new forever homes when we open this, the adoption center tomorrow. This is just going to be, oh, this is going to be fantastic. But only after you guys stop smelling like dogs, basically, and start smelling like something nicer. <laughs> All right, Tiffany, we're almost done. So what do you think? Phew. Are you sure this is supposed to make them smell better, Siri? As far as I can tell, the more you get a dog wet, the worse they smell, not better. <laughs> well, that's pretty true, but we're just gonna have to keep scrubbing and grab some of the doggy shampoo. I think hopefully that'll be what can help these guys, you know, look nice, smell nice, because nobody's gonna want a smelly dog. You know what I mean, Tiffany? <sighs> All right. I'm still not sure this will work though. <sighs> really, what the heck is with these shampoos? Frilly, lavender, honey, sweet scent, fresh laundry, puppy rose kisses. Ugh, I take it back. The smell of wet dog has to be better than pups running around smelling like some foofy flower disaster. Why don't they make some good old clean dog scent shampoo? Or would it smell just as bad as wet dog anyway? <laughs> Tiffany! Uh, oh, let's like, let's not, let's not focus on the stinky dogs. And, I mean, come on, we're just making them smell nice so that they can find some new homes when we open up tomorrow and, and people can come over and they can go, oh, you're such a cute puppy. And they can just like give the little cup, like puppy a kiss on the nose and be super happy to be with the puppy. And they're not going to want to kiss the puppy on the nose and take it home if it smells like it's been rolling around in the trash. So we've got to do it. So let's talk about something else. How's the dog training been going? Are you think they're ready for a new home yet? <laughs> Pretty good, as usual. They aren't bad dogs, and training them isn't too hard. It just takes a lot of time and patience. Lilac has finally stopped growling and barking at the other dogs over the toys. Though, she is still pretty obsessed with that one sheep squeaky. But hey, it's probably her favorite, right? Charlie and Evie finally figured out how to lay down, though Evie usually darts off after a few seconds, as usual. Blake, though, man, he is such a smart dog. You remember how I showed you his new high five trick a couple days ago? Well, he can bark on command now, too, and roll over. It's a lot of fun working with him. He just soaks up the new commands like a big, goofy sponge. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Blake really is such a smart dog. I, I mean, though, you've really been training him a lot. I didn't really think you'd have enough time to teach him how to sit and stay and be good on the leash, let alone do high fives and rolling over and barking on command. And I think you were even doing like the ball dunk thing the other day. Uh, you really enjoy training him. But I mean, with Blake being as smart as he is, are, are you going to maybe keep Blake, Tiffany? <laughs> Whoa, keep him? <laughs> I hadn't really thought about that. Man, as good a dog as he is, I just don't know, Siri. I never really thought about actually having a dog of my own before. I'm not sure. <sighs> Probably not. I like him, alright, and he's so smart, but honestly, it is kind of like working on cars for me. I'm happy to come in and spend time with the dogs, but part of that is knowing that I'm helping them get ready for finding a, some family that will want them one day. Hmm. Yeah, keeping a dog is probably not for me right now. I still like coming by and working with them, though. There isn't really a lot to do in a town this size, so swinging by and letting them out to train and play in the morning? <laughs> well, it's helping them and filling up my free time, so it's a perfect combo. For now, I'm happy with the things like this, even if it does mean I need to go grab some lilac now, like, go grab lilac now and make her smell like some fluffy, flowery lilac blossoms. Ugh. <laughs> All right, Tiffany, thank you so much. That'll be useful at least. And oh, speak of the devil, here's Lilac. All right, I'll grab her and you scrub. 
<sighs> all right, so Tiff should be able to finish taking care of the dogs and getting them all bathed, even though Charlie is really putting up a fight. Oh my goodness, but I can't believe they rolled around in that much mud. Oh, but getting them washed is going to definitely be a huge check mark off my checklist of things to do before tomorrow. I just, I can't believe the center is opening tomorrow. We're finally going to be able to adopt out the animals to all of the people who are going to be coming by the train and visiting Twin Park Town. This is going to be fantastic. Ah, okay, so there's still so much to do. We've got the basic place set up and we've got all of the, the toys and the dishes and the beds set out so that people can buy them. We've got all of the books so that people can like educate themselves over the animal care and more little toys and oh, the food. Good, we've got the medicines and the vitamins and the paperwork's all organized and Harmony made some delicious cookies to share with everybody. All right, how the kennels look? The kennels are looking pretty good. Looking pretty clean and pretty good. I should probably put some of the dog's favorite toys in there. And then if, if you adopt like, like, you know, the little, the little sheep squeaky toy that, that uh, Lilac loves so much or, or the way Evie really loves her little blanket. If I put those in with them, then people will know that they can adopt the dogs. And of course they can have their favorite squeaky toys and their favorite toys that they've gotten at the shelter so that they can hopefully feel at home in their new homes. So that should be good. Paperwork in order. That's right. Oh, I'm just so nervous. Okay. How's the exam room look? We really need to hire a veterinarian. I know the mayor's working on that right now, but oh, it's looking good. Looking good. I've restocked some of the kitten formula just in case we have a rush of new cats. The bunnies are doing good. All right, good. You guys are all right. Let's go up and check on the other animals. All right, the ham hams. Are you guys burrowed somewhere? Oh, there you guys are. They always hide up against this little wall right here. Are you guys hiding back there? Don't be shy, okay? If you guys, like, stay out and about, then everybody's going to be able to adopt you. Oh, look at your little wiggly tail. I bet the rest are like, hiding right down there, too. Oh, my goodness. They're just so silly. But, oh, if you guys aren't too shy tomorrow, then people will adopt you and see how cute you are. And I can send them home with the hamster wheel, and it'll be so good. Oh, and the mayor's waiting for me to meet him and talk to him. Okay, I'll do that in just a second. Ah, that's where Zeus went off to, hanging out with the mayor. All right. Oh, and the kittens are doing good. Okay, good. That was the last thing I needed to check on. All right, well, let's go talk to the mayor. He's been going over all of the paperwork, and he's been making sure that Twin Bark Town is legal and ready to open, and we can actually adopt the little babies out. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Ahem. <laughs> And so, that should be about it, Siri. The rescue center will be ready to officially open tomorrow morning. I've already had flyers and notices sent out to several other rescue groups in neighboring towns and cities. Hopefully, we'll be able to attract quite the crowd to start coming by to see the animals we have available to adopt. Ah, oh, this is... this is all just... just so... wonderful. He seems to be tearing up behind his spectacles. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, <laughs> it, it's it's going to be awesome, Mr. Mayor. You've put so much hard work into this, and I'm sure that the townspeople know, and and it's going to be great. Are you are you feeling all right? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yes, I am. Just our little town has needed something bigger to support it ever since old Jack passed away and his farm fell into ruins. We may be a tiny community, but my father, Mayor Timothy the Seventh, and his father before him, and his great aunt before him, and on down the line have cared for this town for generations. I knew we needed something big and new to keep up with the times, so to see the rescue center finally be able to open its doors means so much to me. Hopefully, this way we may not only be able to change the lives of the animals and people that come through our doors, but also attract people to our little town and bring some much needed tourism. That is why we all voted to take the risk and put our money into the research er, into the rescue center to do good, but also to help the village. Oh. Um, so you mean the entire village is rely relying on the success of the research or the rescue center? Like what I do? Like here? You guys built this place. I mean, I know you wanted to do some good work, but I didn't realize it was supposed to completely replace your main economy and hopefully like attract a whole bunch of tourists. And that means I'm, oh boy. Okay. So the entire village is relying on the success of the center and basically how I run it then, Mr. Mayor. Ho 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 ho, yes, you could say that. Building this huge place is our gamble for the future. Why, after all the money we have invested into the, res the rescue center, if it goes under, then the town is pretty much doomed. All the houses and businesses will end up like our poor library, closed up, abandoned, full of dust and cobwebs and broken dreams. 
Ah, but no pressure, Siri. I'm sure you will do just fine. You came very, very highly recommended after all. I'm sure that all of us, every single villager in Twin Park Town, can put our fates in your hands just fine. Oh. Uh, okay. Goodness, but listen to me babble. Here, I'll finish up a bit more of this paperwork. Starting tomorrow, we should start seeing more animals coming in from past the paws as well. Amy says she is ready to fill our cat room to the roof. And something about a turkey? Well, we'll have to see what surprises she brings us, eh? Ho 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 Anyway, have you seen Harmony yet? I do believe she has something special planned for the evening. Oh, well... <laughs> Okay, whole center, whole town, all of those people in that town relying on me to make this center successful and make lots of people come and, and go, oh, I'm just going to get some food at the grocery store. Oh, maybe I want a pretty flower. Okay, okay, we're just going to lean on the banister for a second. <sighs> Terry and Harmony and Orwin and, and, and Lex and everybody else in the town. I, okay, well, I guess I'm a little responsible for them, too. We've got to make this a success. Okay, all right. All right, thank you, Mr. Mayor. All right, come on, Zeus. Why don't we go see what Harmony wants? Oh, boy. Whew. Oh, man, all this cleaning. Everything has just been going by so much today. I can't believe the sun is already setting. Oh, oh, oh and there's Harmony. Hey, Harmony. Oh, and there's little Terry. Oh, is he being a little tiger cub again? That is really cute, Harmony. I remember yesterday he was trying to be a cat and, like, clawing at the little scratching post and saying meow all the time and even trying to eat the cat food. And, <laughs> well, I'm glad the pet, like, the pet playroom turned out to be, like, the perfect toddler room to be able to maybe give you a break and give him somewhere to just enjoy playing, Harmony. But, all right, my friend, you are dancing around just so excited. What's going on? The mayor said you had a big surprise. Oh, Siri, there you are. Oh, goodness, just in time, too. Now, I know it is getting late, but I have a little surprise for you. Or, well, we all do. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys are making me a little nervous. Okay, let's not think about how you all are all relying on me to make the center work so that the town will apparently flourish once again. Okay, deep breaths. Deep breaths, Siri. Hopefully it's a good kind of surprise. All right, what's the big surprise, Harmony? Oh, well, you see, I know how hard you and the mayor and Tiffany have been working to set up the rescue center. Not to mention all those months of building that went into this place before you got here. And, well, not much happens in this town, so the fact that the grand opening is tomorrow is just... Oh, it's big news! And all of you have worked so hard! So I thought, why not throw a little party? Oh, a, a party? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> yes, a party! I know it's a little sudden, but I talked to the mayor about it, and he said it's a wonderful idea. A little opening ceremony for all of us to enjoy before the big day tomorrow. I've already baked a cake and got some cookies prepared and everything. Oh, perhaps some of the animals can even join us. I'll bet the kittens would love playing with the balloon strings. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm a little tired, but you know what? Thank you, Harmony. That sounds wonderful. Just a great way to kind of lift everyone's spirits and... Hopefully you guys will all stay nice and calm that way and none of us will start thinking about how this has to be a success and we can just enjoy our time together. That sounds like a wonderful idea. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you think so. Like I said, the days here can be a little quiet right now. It is just so nice to have any excuse to have a little celebration. Oh, not that it isn't worthy of celebration on its own. I mean, oh goodness, I just love when we can all get together and talk and get to know one another a little better. After all, this is one of the things that is supposed to be so nice about living in a little village like this, right? Being able to really be friends with our neighbors and get to know everyone in a small town. Though, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get everyone to come tonight. Lex had to head back to his farm some distance away from town, and Tolia isn't feeling well enough. Oh goodness, and Lynn... Well, is Len. But little Carrie and her Aunt Pippa will be able to make it. Oh, and there's also Orin, right on time. I asked him to bring some flowers and balloons for the decoration. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all these balloons. Look at all the color. That is so much fun. Oh, Orin, thanks so much. Oh, Harmony, Harmony, are these... Oh, these are perfect! Now to go get the cake! 
<laughs> well, I'm really glad they're what you were looking for. Or and I didn't know you also had like party stuff at your little florist shop too. Zeus, what do you think? You don't think much of the balloons? Well, don't worry, buddy. What about you, Terry? What do you think about the balloons? Balloon! Red! Red balloon! Yes, there is a red balloon. We'll make sure to get you one if it's okay with your mom, okay? I probably should have said something to your mom before saying something to you. Don't panic about it. Orin, thanks so much for being able to bring these by. That's just... Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, do you have some flowers too? Why, hello there, fellow garden club member. Quite nice to see you again. I've brought over a few flowers and balloons for your little party, just as Harmony asked for. I take it your uh, animal shelter is doing well? Yes, yes, and your garden? Did you perhaps have a chance to get it planted yet? Really, just any old place will do if you ask me. No need to be too fussy about soil quality or light, just so long as you have something to present for the gardening competition in a few weeks. Not that you need to worry about it too much, I'd say. It isn't like one of the most important, biggest events in this entire town or anything like that, affecting her reputations for years to come. Uh, is that the mayor? Um, I... Oh, Mayor Timothy! Oh, would you look at this? Oh, oh, uh, Orin! Why, how nice of you to stop by for the party! Uh, uh, of course, Timothy. I wouldn't dream of missing it. Mm-hmm. And what's this? You've brought some flowers with you, I see. Well, the request was quite sudden, and, uh... Hmm, goodness, these bluettes don't seem too happy. Are these from your garden, Orwin? Well, the the weather has been quite stifling lately. Hard on all the plants. Really? Goodness, my roses seem to love the sun. Are you having garden troubles, Orwin? I I would never. Uh, ahem. Just how are your roses, Mayor? That mite infestation has been... Oh, goodness, oh my... I don't want these two to start fighting. Oh my goodness, Harmony. Harmony, should we do something? It seems like these two aren't really getting along that well. And oh goodness, there they go again. Those two are always bickering about their plants and their gardens. Don't worry about it, Siri. They've got quite the competition going between them. What with the mayor always winning the flower festivals that the village hosts, thanks to his roses. Orwin has been trying to get the gold medal for a first place for years. Anyway, let's get to work and set up the party. I'll go get the kittens. <laughs> All right, Harmony. I'll, I'll see if Orwin will help me set up the balloons. Maybe that'll distract him from fighting with the mayor. <laughs> Look at everything. This is just so awesome. There's so much color and the puppies are everywhere and the people are here and oh, I didn't realize that oh, just there were so many people we had made friends with. I'm beginning to understand why Mayor Timothy invested so much in trying to make sure this town is going to be okay. I mean, it's small, but everybody here is already so friendly and I'm going to have to do my best for them. And I mean, Orwin's over there and he's been helping me with the gardening club and he's got some awesome flowers and there's Pippa. So apparently she's the aunt of that little girl and her name's Carrie. That's right. And she helped us catch the bunnies the other day. So she's really cool. And apparently she's a little bit older, but friends with Terry. So that's really cool. And meanwhile, Harmony. <laughs> Harmony's been playing with the kittens for forever now. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad she's having a good time. Lilac, are you having a good time? Are you having a good time? There's Maggie and Charlie and Evie's hiding behind Zeus over there. And Oh, are you having a good time, huh, Lilac? She is eating a large dog biscuit and seems very happy. <laughs> well, good girl. I'm glad you're enjoying the dog biscuit. I've got some delicious cake. Harmony made cake and cookies. There's delicious cookies. Oh, my goodness. And thankfully, just in case the cake and cookies are too much, there is some really yummy salad and carrots and everything I can snack on, too. So that'll be really good. Oh, my goodness. Harmony, thank you so much. I... Uh, especially after the stuff the mayor said to me today. Really, this party is perfect just to lift our spirits and kind of let the dogs get used to being around a bunch of people at once and all the noise and excitement. 
and it's just the perfect way to prepare for tomorrow when everything is going to get so busy having all of the people crowding in and hopefully adopting the animals and then we're gonna get a ton more animals from past the paws it's gonna be really exciting harmony thank you so much oh and you look at all these kittens what do you think little kittens the kittens are busy playing with string they're so cute oh my gosh and they've gotten so big too i just can't believe how big they've gotten harmony what do you think <laughs> just look at the little ones they do love playing with string oh, i love them so much oh harmony oh they're just adorable oh, and i'm glad terry seems okay and and over here zeus what you doing with evie over here hey evie are you kind of hiding from everybody what's going on she seems a bit frightened of the balloons oh evie evie sweetie i'm so sorry you just hang in there okay we'll get you out of here you don't have to stay here much longer zeus what do you think oh he seems to be protecting Evie. Oh, good boy, good boy. All right, you protect Evie. We'll get these balloons moved in no time. In fact, can I, can I maybe move these ones? Here, I'll move these balloons so that Evie doesn't have to be so scared. There we go. And Mayor Timothy, oh my gosh. This is, this is such a great party. Thank you so much for planning it with Harmony. I hadn't realized you joined the gardening club too, Siri. So good to see you settle into the town with the villagers. <laughs> I know, right? Orwin was so friendly. I'll have to go see what he has to say. Oh, Orwin, it's... Oh, oh my goodness. Charlie. Charlie, boy, you take up a lot of room. He's staring at the mayor with adoring eyes. Oh, Charlie, you really like the mayor, don't you? Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, Charlie. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go say hello to Orwin. Orwin, um... He is muttering to himself about drooping petals and accursive grasshoppers. Oh, um... I don't think... Uh, maybe he doesn't want to talk right now. All right, we'll even be... Oh, Blake. Blake. Blake, well... Okay, well, all right, Blake, that's fine. I'm sure you're just doing some tricks. And then, Carrie, hi again. I wish I could see the bunnies now, but I know they're sleeping. They sure are. That's a very good thing to do. You're very sweet for being patient and waiting. Hope If you want to come back with one of your supervised adults and not just by yourself, then I'd be happy to see you the, or to show you the bunnies. Oh, my goodness. And Maggie, what do you think? She seems content among so many people and is watching Terry. Oh, you're such a family dog. We're going to find you a really good family, Maggie. We're definitely going to do that. And Terry, you're having a good time? Cookies for the meows? <laughs> not right now, Terry. Oh, my goodness. You can have maybe. Well, I'm not going to say anything about you having cookies. You're going to have to ask your mom about that. I'm not going to get involved in that. And Pippa, hello. It's very nice to see you again. It's very nice to meet you again. <laughs> hey again. So you really do work here at the rescue center. That makes me pretty relieved. No stranger danger in Twinburg Town, after all. Sorry about Carrie running in ar with your r running around with your rabbits before. I swear, if you don't watch that kid, she'll gather up every bunny in the county and try to hide them in her room. <laughs> Wow, so she must really love rabbits then. I mean, I can see she's tugging at your sleeve right now and pestering you to try to go see the bunnies. I promise you can bring her back to see them another time. I mean, I think really a peek, a peek at the bunnies wouldn't hurt anything if, if that's okay with you. Just, oh yes, she loves rabbits. If she could grow a pair of ears and eat nothing but carrots, I think she'd consider her life complete. Well, at least until she wanted to wear one of her frilly dresses. But even her rabbit wears those. She rolls her eyes and laughs. Anyway, nice setup. So I see all the dogs and some kittens over there. But are you guys going to have any other types of animals too? Oh, of course. Actually, we're going to have an area for like wildlife rehabilitation. We've got an area for like owls or small birds. We've got an aviary set up and there's a shed that we can expand on in case we have any wildlife come in, you know, like deer or or even things as like coyotes or maybe even a wolf. Who knows? Like anything wild that comes in that needs our attention. And I know that the mayor has talked about building a reptile house so that we can put some reptiles out there, turtles and snakes. Reptile rescues are really hard to find, so I would be really happy to be able to run one maybe one day we'll be able to get some hedgehogs and guinea pigs and basically any animal that needs a home and any animal that needs to be rescued and find a new forever home we're going to take care of them we even have a big barn set up and maybe we'll be able to get some animals into the barn too i think there's even a chicken coop so really we're set up for pretty much everything oh wow so you really have a big barn back there <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Just so you know, I used to work at a horse stable before I moved out here with Tulia. So if you ever need help with the horses, I'm your girl. <laughs> Jeez, I miss that. It really was my life. The scent of the hay, the warmth of the barn on a cold winter day. Oh, so you used to work with the horses? That's so awesome. We might have some horses. They show up at rescues too. Um, though if you like, well, I did see an elephant, but that probably wouldn't go in our barn right away. But why did you move out here if you really like horses? And 
Um, ah, well, she smiles sadly and shrugs. Life sometimes has other plans, and my sister-in-law Tulia needed my help. Not that it's so bad. My niece is a handful, but she's a good kid to take care of. And hey, maybe you get some horses soon, so who knows? Maybe I'll be able to get back to work in the barn soon anyway. <laughs> Carrie! Sorry, Siri. Gotta go chase that kid away from the cake. Many more slices of that size, and I'll never get her to sleep for the night. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, Pippa. That's fine. It's very nice to be able to talk with you and just get to know you a little better. And, oh, Terry. All right. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go see what your mom's up to, Terry. And you can, like, leave Pippa alone for a second. And, Carrie, if you want, we can, if it's okay with your aunt, I'll take you in and we will check on the bunnies. And, ah, uh, just what an awesome day. And, oh my gosh, Blake, you're so hyper. Just a, what a wonderful day. This is perfect. Exactly what we needed. Ah, lift our spirits and get ready for the grand opening tomorrow morning. Oh, I really am so excited. This is going to be awesome.